don't think it's that lack of effort as to why she hasn't been there. She's done so many things, not just from the scoring uh, trades, but also being able to have that defensive as well. Mitchell trying to set up Boston. Good battle in there with Wilson. Gamecock on Gamecock. Clark with a shot clock down to five. Off the Boston screen. Behind the back to Boston. She's wide open and connects. Cash it in every single time. Eight times out of ten, that's the play that they're going to, especially when it comes down to game play. Wilson, the shot fake, driving on Boston. Wilson will go back to the free throw line. They look the direction of the two-time MVP, soon to be three. Of Boston with a huge bucket here to pull Indiana within two. And we talk about the behind-the-back pass. Again, it's not always just for how pretty it looks. It's so efficient because of where the defense is at. It gets there quicker, you have a better angle, you put it right in the shooting pocket for Aaliyah Boston to knock that down. Wilson is an 85% free throw shooter, so she makes them typically when she gets here. Two of three tonight, 14 points, 16 rebounds. How about the two Gamecock bigs making some plays here down the stretch? Do we have another furious finish here from Indianapolis? So many of these games have come down to the final possessions here this year. Oh, hounding defense back in the backcourt on Boston. Working on Young, one of the best defenders. Clark gets by her and gets to the rim. That was a beautiful possession, just of patience. Still a two-point game. You got to be able to get a big stop here, but you can't go over and over help. Leaves it open. Man. And you also don't want to foul here, send her back to the line. You have to rely on that help, and Alicia Park just didn't get there uh, in near enough time. Plum leans in, floater too strong. Clark off the screen. The switch on to Wilson. Clark will launch. An opportunity for the Fever to go in front in the final 90 seconds. Clark can't knock down her third three here of the night. Now the Aces content with wasting some clock on the other end. 60 seconds left to play. Young on the drive right up the middle. Kick out Plum and a huge three ball. It was a great possession, getting two feet in the paint, knowing where her teammates are at. It's a beautiful knockdown there by Kelsey Plum. She's not afraid to make those big plays as well. Well, I think Christy Sides is going to be really disappointed with that defensive possession because Young went right up the gut. Mitchell had to help, and you left one of the best three-point shooters in the world wide open. Yes, it's a miscommunication on the ball screen. Are you icing, meaning containing the player? Or is it a switch? You have to be able to know and know early to say it loud. It's super loud in here, so you have to be even more. Indiana's trying to mount a 13-point comeback here. They've gotten it tied in the fourth quarter. Clark, the switch on to Stokes. Clark drives the kick out. Dante shot fakes the three, finds some space, and knocks it down. Well, how big has Dantas been? Off the bench here tonight. Yeah. No, not line. You have to respect that three ball. Back Benley face guarding Wilson. Plum with 18 tonight. Hit the big three a moment ago. Back on her way up. Plum off the screen. She launches. This one is short. Into the corner. Clark pulls it down. It's a three point game and a timeout by Christy Sides. Indiana going to get a chance here. Mitchell and Clark are not just great three-point shooters, but they need almost no space to get a shot off, and they still connect. Clark, eight rebounds, nine assists. She set the single-season total assist record here earlier today, and she's almost assuredly going to win the assist crown. Today, well above Alyssa Thomas, who was in second. So it's Lexi Holda inbound, just under 24 seconds left to play in Indiana, trailing by three. 
Hole looking for Mitchell. Mitchell driving on Clark. Mitchell, Boston for the tie. Oh, it rims out. She got a great look at it, and it was halfway down, and it just wouldn't stay for Aaliyah Boston. That is heartbreaking right there. We have seen her hit shots. She's shooting it with the confidence. That was a great help there uh, by Asia Wilson. And it is down. Just didn't hit the way that she wanted to. You know, I know that's not one of Indiana's big time three point shooters, but Boston is more than capable. I think the Fever got a pretty good look there. No, I agree. And right here, this is why it's so important not and to be disciplined throughout the duration. They're still inbounding the ball. There's no uh, free throw shots just yet. They have an opportunity to steal. So Chelsea Gray is fouled. And she will go to the free throw line here. Gray is an 83% free throw shooter. She needs one to make this a two possession game. Does with that one. Sophia Stokes checking in. Offense, defense, sub here. Kelsey Plum to the bench. And Gray goes two for two. Indiana going the length of the floor here. Clark's going to have to hurry. Clark gets inside, feeds back Benley, maybe got away with extra steps. Lays it in, it's still a three-point game. Gray is fouled. And with a free throw here, can likely ice this one. Well, you've seen, I think, a couple of trends and themes on hand here tonight. Indiana's resiliency, they fell down by 13 points in the second half. Christy Sides group came back, and they had multiple chances to win it here, but the championship medal of a team who's won it twice and has four Olympic gold medalists. Yep. Oh, Gray missed the first. <laughs> See, the ball still in play. That's why you keep on playing to the very end. They have 3.4 seconds, which is a lifetime in basketball, but you got to move quick. But calmly knocks down the second. So the Beavers still have their reset timeout. So Sides was holding it last time, knowing that they'd need to do it twice. But here you're down by four. And with under four seconds left, you need nothing short of a miracle. So important here for the Aces to remain disciplined. Nothing crazy, nothing silly. Mitchell just lobbing it up to Boston on a double team. And that's how this one will finish. The Aces win it 78 to 74. For producer Mark Balk and director Eric Singer, for Bria Goss and Kelsey Casper, I'm